We're going to see a demonstration today of a refractometer and Mr. Jim Quigley with APC Incorporated. Go ahead, Jim. Okay, this is a refractometer that is originally designed for measuring uh, total solids in liquids such as fruit juice or wine. They're very common in, in different industries. Uh, so research that was recently published in the Journal of Dairy Science has shown that we can use one of these to estimate the quality of colostral IgG. And uh, to use one of these, it's very simple. Simply uh, open the open the uh, cover, take a couple of drops of colostrum, place them on the window, close the cover, and look into a light source. And what we're going to see is a blue line, and that blue line gives us a, a, a sliding scale. Can I see it through maybe there? Maybe you can. I don't know. No, I think you need. Two hands, but uh, I'll I'll try. I'll trust you. You tell me okay. what it's supposed to be. Well, what this is telling me is that the solids content of the colostrum that we've just tested here yes. is about 15 percent. Now, that doesn't have any bearing, any meaning, except when you use the comparison mm -hmm. that the bricks reading or the the solids reading less than 19.9 percent indicates that this is actually poor quality colostrum. The IgG level in this colostrum is quite low. If the BRICS reading is between 20 and 22, then the colostrum is fair quality. If it's greater than 22%, then the colostrum is good quality. That's the stuff that would be most appropriate to feed to a newborn now, cat. Now, what did you say it was, about 12%? Is that this is about 15%. About 15, okay. And so this would qualify as poor quality colostrum. Now, what makes it poor quality? The, the IgG concentration okay. is quite low. Yeah. And so if I gave this, if I gave a gallon of this product to a calf, yeah. it wouldn't receive enough antibodies or IgG to protect it against all of the diseases it's going to face. And so this is a tool that will allow a dairy producer to, to, to separate his good colostrum from his bad colostrum. And then he has a choice to make about what do I do with this bad colostrum and using a, a colostrum replacer or a classroom supplement then becomes a, a very viable alternative to him. He can use the good quality colostrum that he has on his farm, the stuff that, that his cows make that is suitable to feed, and he can replace the poor quality colostrum that would otherwise put his calves at risk. So this, it's, it's a management tool I think that can, can help a producer make some very good and well informed decisions about this whole very important area of his management. Well, how expensive is one of these? One of these can be bought online for anywhere between fifty to seventy-five dollars. Well, that's a pretty reasonable it's investment. Very reasonable. <laughs> it's it's simple. It's rugged. It you can use one if you take care of it. And use it for years. So it's a it's a very uh, very reasonable investment um, to get a piece of information that's really essential for for him. And, and it's called a refractometer. Refractometer. A bricks refractometer. Bricks refractometer. There are many different types of refractometers available in the industry to do various things. The one that that would be used for this application is called a BRICS refractometer. All right, very good. Well.